Good afternoon. My name is Jerome Nelson. From 1962 to 1965, I was an Atlas FICBM Deputy Missile Combat Crew Commander assigned to the 579th Strategic Missile Squadron in Roswell, New Mexico. Sometime during the winter of 1963 through 1964, while I was on alert duty in the Launch Control Center at Atlas Site 9 west of Roswell, my top side security guard called me on the telephone and reported a bright light that is a that is, a fully illuminated round object was hovering silently over the missile silo and shining a light down onto it. I could tell that he was serious and his voice revealed he was very frightened. After perhaps five minutes, the object left the vicinity. Even before it left, I called the base command post at Walker Air Force Base and reported the incident. I was concerned the object would somehow sabotage the missile. I was surprised by the response I received, being told that the command post would take un the unauthorized excursion under advisement. I was never debriefed by my commander or anyone else, which I found quite puzzling and frustrating. Over the next month or so, this type of incident occurred several more times while I was on duty at Site 9. I would estimate the total number as more than three, but fewer than 10. On each occasion, I would call the command post, but each time my report was met with the same apparent indifference. During each of these incidents, I witnessed the guard would call the Launch Control Center and report the UFO. Several guards were involved over time and were all obviously frightened by the object hovering over the site. Their voices were actually trembling. Because of my duties in the Launch Control Center, I could not go topside and look at the objects myself. Only decades later that I, did I learn that at least one missile facility technician Bob Kaplan had been ordered to report to the Office of Special Investigations on base and make a report about the similar incident he had witnessed at Site 9 during the period. At the time, this development was kept from me and my missile commander. I do not know whether anyone else was interviewed by the OSI, but I wasn't. That's my report.